Determining which technologies will change the face of gaming can be tough. The industry is constantly working and pushing the boundaries of what's feasible, especially with regards to graphics. So let's take a look at 15 of the biggest leaps in technology that could change video games forever. Ray Tracing to Revamp Old Games Ray tracing may be all well and good for making games like Battlefield 5 look a little less boring, but its best application thus far is in revamping old games like Quake 2. Path tracing has been utilized to make the classic FPS look almost new. Quake 2 RTX also has over 3000 QTXP mod pack textures, adds global illumination, real-time reflections, dynamic lighting, and so on. However, the potential for ray tracing to update games for a new generation, at least those with RTX cards, is immense. Ray tracing in general. Honestly though, Nvidia's advancements with ray tracing have been very impressive to watch as a whole. It started with the Reflection Cinematic, which showcased the feasibility of real-time ray tracing reflections, area light shadows, and ambient occlusion. This was on a $70,000 workstation. Several months later, Nvidia had the same demo running on a GeForce RTX GPU. We even saw how ray tracing reflections, shadows, and caustics could be used to enhance MMOs like NetEase's Justice to a ludicrous degree. AI Neural Networks for Improving Retro Titles Speaking of updating for a new generation, modders have found an interesting way to spruce up the backgrounds for older RPGs like Final Fantasy VII. AI Neural Networks The Remaco HD Field mod for the PC version upscales the backgrounds using Gigapixel, and the results are very impressive, resulting in crisper backgrounds that stay true to the original experience. World Generation by AIs Generating large worlds is a monumental task unto itself, but NVIDIA went about it in a rather unconventional way. It created an entire video game demo using AI-generated graphics, as players navigate the world via cars. Granted, it's built on existing methods of AI deep learning and the player can't really interact with anything. Still, breaking up footage of driving research into different categories and using Unreal Engine 4 to create environments while having the AI trained to generate models for each category is still intriguing. Unity's The Heretic Unity is no stranger to making huge graphical leaps with its engine. In March 2019, it presented The Heretic, a gorgeous short film running in real time at 1440p and 30 frames per second. Unity would later reveal that this was done by combining 3D and 4D scanning through currently available solutions like Infinite Reality Scanning, Russian 3D Scanner for data pre-processing, and Snappers for facial rigging. It looks impressive even if its real-world usage seems a ways off. Cloth Cap Cloth cap is another interesting use of 4D and 3D technologies. Clothes in motion are first captured using a 4D scanner, which is then converted into data and mapped onto 3D models. It's an interesting technique that allows for all of the different folds and wrinkles of clothing to realistically adjust to different models of varying heights and weights. Frostbite's Hair Simulation not to be left behind in the realm of technological wonders, DICE recently showcased how frostbite could be used to realistically depict hair. Along with the hair looking realistic, it also ebbs and flows with the character's movement in a natural fashion. Even different hair colors look particularly fetching and natural in frostbite. Siren Efforts have been made over the decades to make video game characters look and sound realistic. However, Epic Games, 3 Lateral, Cubic Motion, and Vicon all teamed up to create perhaps the most bleeding-edge digital character in Unreal Engine. With 3D and 4D scanning of actress Bingjie Zhang, along with realistic motion capture and facial data, Siren was born. It's a little unsettling, especially the arms, but provides a look at the kind of fidelity that's possible with today's scanning and motion capture technologies. Improbable Spatial OS We've seen massive battles in real-time strategy games with hundreds if not thousands of units. However, Improbable Spatial OS wants to aim higher. The developer showcased Survival, powered by the cloud-based platform and Unreal Engine 4, which allows for 1,000 players and 10,000 AI characters to fight it out. It achieves this with almost no struggle and with 100,000 different objects thrown in. Large-scale, real-time destruction in Unreal Engine 4 So Crackdown 3 failed to really deliver a future of real-time destruction that dwarfed any current solution. 
That doesn't mean that other developers aren't trying to push the envelope for the same. A demo utilizing Robo Recall's world was revealed at GDC 2019, which showcased the physics and destruction system that Unreal Engine 4.23 would utilize. It's pretty crazy, especially in terms of different levels of structural destruction and particle effects. CryEngine 5's Non-RTX Ray Tracing If you thought ray tracing required technologies like NVIDIA RTX, then think again. Crytek unveiled its Noir demo in March of 2019, which showcases ray tracing technologies in CryEngine 5 like ray traced reflections and complex lighting. Running on an AMD Radeon RX Vega 56, the fact that this is all possible without an NVIDIA RTX GPU is all the more impressive. Multi-GPU rendering via the cloud Google has been harping for a while about the significance of Stadia's cloud-based multi-GPU rendering. Essentially, developers can utilize a number of available GPUs for their games as opposed to optimizing for a wide variety of setups, thus pushing the visuals of their games further. More GPUs can be used to handle particle effects, fluid simulation, and other complex effects without bogging down performance for the end user, thus saving time and resources for the developer. Unity's Entity Component System Along with well-detailed characters that move realistically, Unity is capable of massive worlds as well. As part of rebuilding the basis of its engine, Unity revealed the Entity Component System, which emphasized a more data-oriented approach for designing. Hierarchical level of detail, which changes the details of in-game objects based on their distance from the player. A new object culling system and asynchronous scene streaming were also showcased courtesy of a Cyberpunk City demo. NVIDIA Turing Mesh Shaders In terms of culling technologies, NVIDIA revealed its Turing Mesh Shader system for efficiently managing level of detail and rendering. While the principle is the same, modifying the level of detail based on distance from the player, the system relies on compact meshes created by cooperative thread groups. After testing, any remaining triangles are culled. NVIDIA's Asteroids demo showcased 3.5 trillion triangles being culled down to 50 million on screen, providing a more efficient solution as opposed to simply culling each individual triangle. Death Stranding and Decima Innovating with graphics isn't just about new technologies, but how different technologies are utilized to achieve incredible aesthetics. Such feats are abound in the latest Death Stranding trailer, like Mads Mikkelsen's hair moving independently, meticulous rigging for small pieces of duct tape, realistic moss and hand-placed blades of grass, unique volumetrics, and much, much more. The sheer attention of detail showcases the strength of the Decima engine and Kojima Productions' art team. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.